Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam, and in this part we are actually going to build a Hello World application. Okay, and this is the learning iOS development part number three. If you haven't watched the first two parts, I highly recommend that you do so. So in the first part we created a Windows-based application, and uh, it's a very simple application. You can see this is I haven't actually added any code apart from maybe uh, let's see in the interface builder so let's uh, we can actually remove these things since we are not going to use that okay here we go now we are going to add a new controller okay to our project uh, so let's actually do that if you don't understand what I'm doing right now hey no problem I'm going to explain it in the next tutorial and we are going to start from uh, the learning objective C okay so here we go we say new file and we're going to add a new uh, UI view controller. Now, as I mentioned in the previous uh, screencast, that everything that you do in iPhone development, it has to be the model view controller pattern. Okay, so model view and controller, and now we are adding a controller. Um, with uh, XIB file for user interface, so I'm gonna check that. It's already checked, which means that I will use that uh, user interface a designer to create my user interface which is okay uh, what do you want to call it I'm just gonna call it hello world view controller okay and let's save it so it adds uh, these three files and let me actually drag the files over here somewhere uh, here we go so you can see the header file uh, the implementation file which is the .m and the interface file which is the XIB file all right, so let's go ahead and in the interface file, I'm just going to say, uh, oops, I'm just going to drag a label. God, need to need to turn off these things. Huh? Uh, okay, here we go. So I'm just going to drag a label and uh, go ahead and change its property to something else like hello world. All right, let's actually uh, align it so that, here we go. Now what we need to do is when the page actually loads, we want to display this XIB file or this interface. Okay, this is let's say your first screen that you see when you run your iPhone or when you run the app. So we have to go to the implementation file. Okay, and I'm just going to say over here, because we have to tell the implementation file that we will be using the hello world view controller. So we are going to uh, say included, okay, and we can go in the implementation file and right inside the did finish launching with options method, we're going to use that. So I'm just going to say over here, hello world controller, and I can say over here, uh, I don't know, controller. Hello world controller. Here we go. Okay, and I can simply say over here now, um, self dot window. Let's see, self dot window dot. Does it have the root view controller? Here we go, and controller. Okay, let's actually build this. Since we are building it, I think for the first time it takes a while. And let's actually run it and see what we see on the screen. Okay. So here's the iPhone simulator. And it's kind of processing right now the application. I'm just going to move it onto the right hand side. And here we go. So we actually loaded, we added a new. A file or a new view controller which is a hello world view controller and we also it we also check that we want the interface designer file which is the XIB zip file and finally we went to the app delegate which is the one of the files that executed first after the main file of course main.m and over here we have we are saying that okay we created an instance of uh, of the hello world view controller and then we assign the window dot root view controller to the controller. Now, how the iPhone uh, SDK or whenever you view on the screen is 
organized is that you have a window and then you have multiple views on the window okay so and what root view controller is actually doing is that it's setting up the controller that will be triggered first and when we assign this controller to the root view controller the view of the root of the controller will be the first thing that you will see on the screen and in this case the view is this right if you actually see it over here it's the view okay your file owner will always be the uh, the controller which in this case is hello world hello world view controller and you can actually add multiple things over here like a button or something and if I run this you can see that we are actually adding on this view it's pretty simple okay now if you have created a application using a different template like maybe the view based template or some other template it might be a little bit different but I like to create it using a, a window based application template because it just provides you the skeleton of the or the basic structure to start working on your iPhone app okay so that's pretty much it if you if you haven't understand what's going on right now don't worry because in the next tutorial we are actually going to dive into objective C language and trust me objective C language is not as bad as it sounds okay I'm going to make it really simple for you and only you will uh, learn the concepts that will be necessary to create your application all right hope you enjoyed this thank you very much one more thing I like to point out is I do accept donations if you think that these videos are helping you in any form or any way then I do accept PayPal donations you can send the donation to adamsharp at gmail.com using PayPal and uh, you know that will really help a lot thanks a lot and uh, have a have a nice day